The IMA light has appeared in your Honda Insight. What do you do? Page 47 of the instruction manual says, have the vehicle checked by the dealer as soon as possible, but we know that is not an option. It's 2023, just about ready to turn the next year, and I am making this video in response to someone on Facebook. I uh, asked me to actually make a video of this nature, so I am going to do it. The uh, Facebook Insight group that I've enjoyed being part of uh, a couple days ago, someone said, would you make a video that discusses all the options for IMA bypass or replacement? So I'm going to do that in the next few minutes. And I did some study here. I'm going to show you some websites. I'm going to show you some visuals using this car of the five different options, as I understand it. If you have a first generation insight of what you can do if your IMA, which is your integrated motor assist, is going bad. So short version of what happens here. These cars are hybrids. They have a gasoline engine along with an electric engine, which is powered by the IMA system, which is a small electric motor that is sandwiched between the engine and transmission of this car. This particular car is a 2003 Insight. It's my fifth in the last three years and um, just got it. And it's got a ton of miles and it's in great shape and I'm really enjoying it. Um, the IMA system is powered by a nickel metal hydride battery which was uh, the primitive pretty primitive technology nowadays but it was cutting edge back in the year 2000 when these first made it to the united states and uh those batteries lasted the original honda batteries um lasted 10 plus years um but then they failed and uh nowadays you can still get new batteries but anyhow we're going to talk about five different options of what do you do if your ima system is compromised so uh, <clears throat> we will start with uh, the first option, and I just typed these out because I am low-tech here, and I have my uh, model red insight here, which is going to be my demonstrator. And the first option is to disable the IMA completely and drive the car in gas-only mode. So, uh, when the lights come on, you'll have your check engine light and your IMA light will come on. <clears throat> Before long, your system will die and it will pretty much shut your car down. It'll drain your 12 volt battery. Other horrible things will happen. You'll be left stranded and you'll be wondering and questioning your life choices. What can you do? The first thing you can do, you can just disable the IMA completely, the system. Now there's kind of basic, two basic ways to do that. The first way is you just go in here and you turn off this massive circuit breaker. No, mine does not have the red protector on it. And um, <clears throat> I'm in and out of here a lot, so just to take that off for now. But you flip that circuit breaker and it will cut the system off and the car will sort of drive all right. However, you also need to go in there. You need to unplug. I believe it's the BCM. And there's a couple other things you can do. You can read online. It will tell you how to do this. And if you do that, the car will operate sort of okay. What will happen then, and I drove my first Insight this way for many months, um, as long as you don't go over 4,200 RPMs, if you hit over 4,200 RPMs, you will immediately trigger a emergency brake light and a battery light. And what that is telling you is that the DC uh, converter is no longer charging the 12 volt battery. Now, I won't go into the science of why that happens, but that's part of it's all linked into the hybrid system. When the hybrid system is down, you get to a certain place and it will stop charging your battery, which means your car then is running completely and only off the 12 volt battery and it will not make it very far. And you will be on the side of the road wondering why you bought this car, questioning your life choices. So if you have a car that you've done that, you can simply just drive it, unplug the BCM, turn that breaker off, and you can just drive it and never go over 4,200 RPMs, which I did that for many months. I know other people that have done that for years. Your IMA light will stay on the dash. Your check engine light will stay on. Your car will have codes, but it will operate fine. It will be a slug. It will be gas only. And it's kind of hard to drive the car that way, especially when you can't get into the higher RPMs because that's where any power this car might have on its three-cylinder 67 horsepower engine. And you can't go into those high RPMs to rev it because you'll start draining your 12 volt. So it, it kind of sucks, to be honest. Again, I did it for a while. Um, another way to uh, disable the IMA system is, easier way is just open up this fuse box and pay no attention to all this. This uh, fuse number 16, 
I colored mine in gold and it's a 30 amp pink fuse. All you have to do is pull that and uh, that will disable it also. That's also a great way to reset the IMA if you need to reset your lights and kind of free charging of your battery. Pull that 10 seconds, put it back in and uh, you can do that. The second way, if you're, we're still in the first way, which is disabling IMA, but the second option you can do is what is called the Arduino bypass. And I'm not going to go into this, but if you just search Arduino IMA bypass insight, you'll come up with all these great articles on Insight uh, Central and Reddit and other places that will show you how to bypass this. And what this is for is if you have a car that had needs inspection and they can't you can't have that IMA and check engine light lit up. There's a pretty simple process that you go in, you put in a, a Raspberry Pi, I think it is, and uh, don't quote me on that, I've never done it, but basically you just wire in some things and it will fool the car and make it not realize it has that check engine light. And then you can drive in gas only with your Arduino bypass and no one will ever know except you. So that is our first option, disable the IMA and go in gas only mode. Uh, the next option is, Rebuild your own battery with fresh cells. I'm not going to say much about this because I think this is a horrible idea. People did this back in the day. In fact, I even found a couple articles here. Uh, I mean, sticks are, here's someone asking $12 for one. Um, here's another person that, uh, you know, this is a little article he wrote about his experience trying to rebuild. And basically these D cells, there's six D batteries in each of these. I think there's 20 or 24 in the system. I've taken them apart. Um, He's trying to unload them. He's got 40. He tried to rebuild his pack and balance it. He got tired of the process and finally bought a Bumblebee battery. Um, so people are doing this not as much anymore. Back in the old days, people were trying to get new sticks and test them and check the voltage. And, you know, I went to a friend's house in Columbia that was doing this and he had this big workshop, kind of like, you know, what I have, except it was much more. Um, you know, involved and he had, you know, all kinds of multimeters and stuff and he was checking all these cells and he had four or five insight batteries and, you know, it's just like, it's just stressful. Like who wants to do that? And if you've done that, Hey, great, good stuff, but you can rebuild your own battery. That is an option. Um, you can find the cells. I've seen them cheap. I've seen them $50 each. So, you know, at your own risk, good luck with that. But that is option two. So option one is disable. Option two is rebuild. Option three is Grid charge life. Grid charging life is uh, what you do if your IMA light comes on and you don't want to disable. You still want to try to get some juice out of your battery. And, you know, grid charging uh, once the car get battery gets, gets low. Basically, what happens, all those cells I just showed you, in a lot of cases, just one of them gets bad. And the car kind of figures out the least common denominator, who's the worst, you know, link in the chain, and it'll throw the IMA light but all the rest of the cells may be good so enter grid charging what grid charging does is you can buy a grid charger here's an example of one they're 200 300 bucks there's tons of them on ebay this is the this is the uh what brand is this max volts there's the prolong there's all kinds and it's a fairly simple process you just have to wire this uh, cable up to your ima battery and then out of it will come a little plug now mine is a regular house plug because i have lithium in this car but with the grid charger, you'll have a, you know, another plug that'll fit into the grid, grid charger that's just sitting there and you simply plug it in and you let it and it'll, it'll charge. It will rebalance the battery. And a lot of people have gotten years and years out of their um, insight. And it's just a $300 purchase. So great option. I did it for a long time in my last red car. And, um, you know, it kept the car going for a good year, year and a half on a pretty dead battery. Um, and uh, for two or three hundred bucks. So uh, in my experience with my red car, um, it had a dead battery, hadn't been driven in a year, grid charged it, it did great for about a year, then it started throwing codes, I grid charged it again. Um, and let me mention too, there are videos on this, so you'll have to check them out, but part of the grid charging process is what they call a deep discharge. And that not only will grid charge the car, but it will bring the, the battery down to a state that it's ready to accept the best charge. So grid charging alone won't do that. And if you're listening to this, just go search deep discharge Honda Insight. You'll find you got to get a bunch of light bulbs and it takes a day or two to do it. Um, you know, not easy, not hard process, fairly easy, but, you know, it's a little, bit, a little bit meticulous. But you're just trying to coax as much life as you can out of that battery. And um, again, for me, my battery was totally dead or so I thought, brought it back to life, did the deep discharge. It did a good year. 
through codes again, did another deep discharge, charged it up. It did good for three months, charged it, got three more months, charged it, got a month, charged it, got a month, charged it, got a week, charged it. And then it got to the point where every day it was throwing codes. And that's when you just know that it's dead. You've deep discharged, you've charged, you've done your, your you know, you, you've tried as best you can. Um, bottom line, guys, when it's dead, it's dead. And, um, you know, if you have a car with a IMA battery and you're buying it, unless there's a warranty on that battery, you might as well can assume that it's probably going to be dead soon. And you may get five years out of it, but you may not. So um, that's option three is grid charge life. It's a great option. And then option four is get a new nickel metal hydride battery. And I'll just show you the cost of these. You can get a cheapo today. It's the end of 2023. Look at this, $1,400. Shipping's another two or $300. Of course, you have to send your core back. So your $1,400 for a 12 year or 12 month warranty on a remanufactured pack from Green Tech. That's who I'm using here as my, they're the guys. That's who I would highly recommend you go with and um, give them your business. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, and then the other option, if you want to get a little bit of a better um, better battery, you can get this $2,100 version. That's an 8 amp instead of the 6.1 amp hour. This is an 8 amp, so it's a little bit better. Cells, you get a three-year warranty. So one-year warranty for $1,400 plus shipping, three-year warranty for $2,100 plus shipping, and a better battery, and they're new cells, not remanufactured. This is the way to go if you're going to keep the car for any length of time. You get that three-year warranty, and that's very, very, very important. Uh, and then the installation, people charge about $500 to do it. Um, you know, you can do it. There's a great ba uh, battery installation video that Bumblebee made. It's on YouTube right now, I think, still there. It's really, really good. And, um, you know, I can, I've done the install five or six, seven times now. I can do it in about 20 minutes. So it's pretty quick, pretty easy. Don't pay the 500. You can do it. Just don't die. You can die. Um, a lot of voltage. So be careful, but you, you can install it for free. So that's your, your fourth option is getting a new, um, a new nickel metal hydride battery. And then the fifth option, and let me just review. Number one is disable the IMA completely and drive the car in gas only mode. Number two is rebuild the battery with your own cells. Number three is grid charge your existing battery and try to coax as much life out of it as you can. Option four is get a brand new nickel metal hydride battery. And I showed you some price options for that. And it's a good option. Uh, warrantied, drops right in. And then option five, which is sort of the ultimate, uh, here we are in 2023, this has been the last two or three years, is of course the lithium battery, the new lithium battery, which this car has. It was in my last red car. And um, this is sort of the ultimate. I'm actually about to do another full video on lithium, all the things you ever wanted to know about lithium. The lithium, that was also another request, so that'll be coming up soon. But just the basics of it, of a lithium battery. Um, the first thing you need to know is you want to go over here to Green Tech. This is why I like Green Tech. Green Tech is willing to sell you both. <clears throat> Just the batteries, these are batteries from a uh, lithium batteries from a third generation Honda Insight, I'm pretty sure, for $750. That's a great, great, great price. Um, or if you click on, well, actually, I've already got it pulled up here. They've got a $2,700 for the full drop in lithium everything. That's L I B C M, which you can go to linsight, L I N S I G H T dot org, and you can read all about John Sullivan's amazing product. Um, for the insight, um, but they are offering twenty seven hundred dollars. Now, again, we just looked at a brand new nickel metal hydride with a three year warranty for twenty one hundred, or you for six hundred dollars more. Also, with a three year warranty, you can get drop in lithium already assembled, ready to go. So you can buy the cells for the seven fifty I just showed you, or you can just spend twenty seven hundred. Now, let me break down the prices for you. I've got them written down here. Right now, if you buy LIBCM, which is the computer and cords and et cetera that fits under here that interfaces with your actual batteries, you can get those, the, the LIBCM set up for right now, prices are like $1,300 without any options added. And then you're going to spend that 750 I just showed you on the actual cells themselves. Okay, so thirteen hundred plus seven fifty plus shipping, so you're going to be about twenty two hundred in. Okay, twenty two hundred for parts. That's the cells, the batteries themselves, and then LIBCM, which is the 
con the computer basically that controls and makes it work with this car. So you're twenty one, twenty two hundred dollars in. Guys, for I love Green Tech. This is just such like an awesome move for twenty seven hundred dollars plus probably about a hundred, hundred two hundred dollars for shipping. Um, you get everything. It's already assembled and you can fit it in this car. I could fit L IBCM in this car <clears throat> myself already assembled in an hour. Easy. <clears throat> and you're done. What a deal. $2,700. It's, it's just incredible. It's shocking how John has like made this product and then these batteries were acquired. They were acquired by Green Tech and now Green Tech's willing to work with John, maker of LIBCM which is the lithium, again, conversion setup for this car. And all of it is beautifully together today for this price. It's just crazy. Like, it's amazing. It's really wonderful how the communities come together and made this happen. And I am just so excited for the folks at Green Tech um, for taking this on and um, offering a warranty, guys, a warranty. You get a warranty on it. So, again, 2,200 parts and labor, or parts. That's the battery plus LIBCM. Um, or... You're basically paying Green Tech five hundred dollars to assemble it all. Now the assembly does take a whole day. It took me a day and a half with a, with someone leading the way. Honestly, for five hundred dollars, again twenty two hundred, get it yourself, or twenty seven hundred dollars, it comes to you all together. For five hundred dollars to put that thing together, I'm just going to tell you: just spend the money. These guys are experts. It's warranted. It will be ready, and then you spend that extra five hundred. You get the product, it shows up, you put it in your car, and you're, you're, you're off. And I would suggest that's the way to go. Now, if you want to save the 500 get it, put it together yourself. Um, there's a couple dicey things that could happen there. So, you know, just make sure you understand the risks. Um, but you'll probably be fine. Um, I did it. It's not the end of the world. But again, you, if you're just the average Joe and you just want a working battery, pay the 27 And uh, again, that's only... I mean, that's only $600 more than a regular nickel metal hydride battery. And uh, <clears throat> so those are the five options. Um, disable, rebuild, grid charge, new nickel metal hydride, or lithium. And I will be doing a uh, thorough video on lithium with the, like I've kind of been doing a lot of research, the 12 most basic things that I'm asked being a lithium owner. Uh, so um, that'll be coming up sometime soon and uh, kind of go into further uh, detail about that. I just want to conclude this video and just thank so much all the people in the Insight community that make it possible for us to own these old, um, you know, somewhat irrelevant, non-cared for, unknown cars. Uh, still, that goes to all the people at Insight Central, all the people in the Facebook group, um, John Sullivan, again, who created LIBCM. Such a joy to own and drive these cars, nothing like it. And um, it's just awesome to be part of the community and be able to give back a little bit by making these videos. So, um, peace to you. God bless you. It's really great um, interacting. If you have further questions, leave them down there in the comments. And um, it's been so good to uh, just be able to help out with, uh, with these videos. So appreciate you watching and I uh, hope you have a good day. Happy New Year.